In our last adventure video, we hit the road to find some snow and made a Trader Joe's inspired meal using a stove that you should probably only use for emergencies. This week, we camp out at Lake Mead in high wind conditions with the dog and tried making some monkey bread over the fire. A little burnt around the edge. Well, this will be fun. What's up guys, welcome back to another episode. Today we're just camping out for the night. I have a special guest with me, Rio. Say hi. She wants to get outside, so. I usually don't have Rio with me because honestly it's kind of a pain in the butt to try and film a good video, get those awesome shots for you guys while I'm trying to watch the dog, move the camera around, make dinner, and do everything else that I normally do on a video. But tonight, I figured why not. Um, it's been a while since I've taken the dog out, so we're gonna do some, some bonding time with the dog. Unfazed. Let's get camp all set up real quick. Oh, and I guess I didn't tell you where we are. So tonight we're actually in Boulder Beach Campground. Once again, I was actually out here a couple months ago. Um, I knew I was getting off late today, um, so I figured why not just grab a campground. I really, really wanted to try and find that awesome campground spot we got last time, but you know what? This spot is actually not too bad. We have a great view of the water if you guys can see the water right here i'll probably overlay some footage really awesome views and the sun is currently going down we got about maybe 30 minutes of daylight left here's our campground spot really nice because we're not really like butted up you know got no neighbors behind us or anything bathrooms are right there and Got a pretty good view, so not too bad. There is a wind advisory tonight though, which uh, should be pretty fun with the dog. We might end up sleeping in the truck bed again, like the last time we were out together. So I didn't really bring too much with me. I did bring some firewood, but with this wind advisory that we're currently gonna be seeing through the night, I'm not sure if I'm gonna put uh, get a fire going. Here's pretty much what uh, we got for camp here. Trying to figure out which way the wind is blowing to figure out where to put the uh, the propane fire pit. We'll just wait until after dark to get that set up. So let's go uh, walk around. This sunset, gorgeous. Home sweet home. Yeah. Thirsty? What? Water? Drink water. Drink water. Saw me take this out, and now she wants it. Please. Wave. Good girl, easy. Psycho. It's actually not too windy right now, so we're gonna get a fire going so we can make some dinner.
This axe is amazing. Alright guys, so I think that wind advisory is starting to happen, like, anytime soon now, so we're gonna get dinner ready. I'm torn between shin ramen and some mac and cheese, but I did just make mac and cheese a couple videos ago, so we're gonna go with shin ramen, shin ramen. Testing, testing. All right, guys, I had to throw my mic on because the wind is winding. Reporting live from Boulder Beach Campground, the winds are starting. Envy Energy just sent a text message saying that there could be possible outages in the area. Luckily, I'm camping and don't need any power. All right, guys, so tonight for dinner, we're just going to keep it simple. We're going to make some shin ramen, and we're going to go and warm up some ribs that I bought from Costco. Um, I didn't have any time to go to the store, so, yep. We're gonna cook them over the fire. So let's get it going. Oh, who we? I can't even tell where this, this like wind's coming from. It's just coming all over the place. It keeps getting windier and windier out here, so I'm gonna do everything I need to do on the fire. And I don't know if you can hear this, but the trees are going crazy right now, so I gotta hurry. Uh, but I'm gonna make some tinfoil packet monkey bread on the fire while I still have it, because I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna put it out probably in about an hour, because I, I don't know. The wind just keeps getting worse and worse, so we'll see. I ended up closing up the truck because it, like the wind's going kind of all over the place, so I just don't want to get a bunch of dust in there, you know? Got me some Filipino chips here, roller coaster, potato rings, my Mike and Ike's for later. <laughs> we need sugar, which I pre-measured before, and tin foil. Got some spray-on butter, perfect. There we go. I'm honestly only gonna do like half of this because I don't need a whole roll of cinnamon rolls to myself. Um, I'm gonna save the rest for home. <laughs> Just do this. I'm just gonna cut these into fourths. I'm just gonna mix it up into the sugar. Oh no! <laughs> all right, y'all, gotta hurry. All right, so I put all the uh, pieces in the sugar. Do that, and then I'm gonna throw them back in here. All right, so I'm done with that. Bring these all together. And then I'm gonna put some cold sticks of butter in there. This butter is not that cold anymore, but oh well. I'm just gonna put like two sticks, little, little things like that. And I think that's it. I'm gonna wrap it up. Oh my gosh. I'm actually gonna double wrap this. 
Oh, well, I guess that might, that might, that's probably okay. Oh no, I forgot to spray that damn tin foil. All right, monkey bread over the fire. All right, those ribs are probably done too. Hopefully the wind is not as bad behind my truck, but it seems to be coming all over the place. It's like, just waiting for the monkey bread to finish, but I'm getting a little hungry. So, I'm pretty sure I've had these, but I honestly cannot remember. Okay, that's interesting. Be right back. Sorry y'all, I had to uh, rotate the monkey bread. Some roller coaster potato chips. These honestly taste like when you eat top ramen raw. <laughs> Just a little bit. I, I don't know why, but the crunchiness of top ramen, like raw top ramen, you know? Which I used to love just crushing it up in a bag and eating it that way, so this is kind of satisfying. <laughs> I don't know why, but this ended up breaking. <laughs> Look at that. Awesome. My uh, third brake light has not been working for a while. I'm pretty sure the light bulb's out. It was working, and then it stopped working. So, probably why. <laughs> GFC, do you cover that? Comment below. <laughs> Let's see if you're done. Uh, the butter's not even cooked. Like another, probably like another 10 minutes or so. Come up. Good girl. Stay. Back it up. Good girl. Go lay down. Lay down. Oh man, guys, I pretty much need to like just throw these straight onto the coals. Like, they're getting like more soggy than anything. Ugh. All right, so I'm throwing those back in right on the coals now for, I'll probably put them on for like 10 minutes. They like really need to crisp up, maybe like five actually, and we'll see what happens. I think this is like finally done. It's definitely getting a lot more puffy, so I think it's uh, it's getting there. So with these winds, I'm seeing these ominous, ominous clouds coming, like in this very strong invasion of a pattern. I don't, you guys can't see it, but this continues. <laughs> this is crazy. Putting the GFC to the test, I guess, tonight. All right, trying something new here. Got it in bunk mode here. Made Rio a little bed. I can stand up fully. Pushed over the cushion that's normally on this and turned it into the bunk desk configuration. Pretty much bunk mode, but moving the cushion. So Rio can hang out down here because she's a thief. So I need to put things out of her way. Last time I put her in here, I had a hot dog stand sitting right there and she went in here and I didn't realize that I had put the food in here already. She knew the consequences, she did it anyway. So I cannot leave any food down here when I let her in here. She is grounded. A little ambiance, put my little rug up. All right, let's get situated. So, got our ribs here. These are probably cold because it took forever. This took forever. So these are probably cold. So I'm just gonna warm up some hot soup and dip it in there. Oh, you know what I'm supposed to do actually? All right, so I actually need to frosting this with the frosting from the dough. So while the water cooks, let's do that. Okay. 
Let's go and frosting this monkey bread. No, oh, no. It's not looking so great, y'all. Pretty sure I burnt it with those last like five minutes. Hoping the inside. Oh, the inside feels pretty good though, so that's cool. Looking so good. This configuration works so well. Everything's very convenient right here. Last time I had the green, y'all said to try the blue, so I had to go get it. Do you guys hear this? See? You guys are going to witness right now the wind with these flaps. All right, let's make our soup. I'll leave this as is for right now. That over. Oh my gosh. Maybe it's not so great to be on the first floor. I'm not sure. Me and Rio will most likely be sleeping downstairs, if I had to guess. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. All right, I'm gonna try just a piece of this monkey bread because I've been waiting forever for it. All these nudes cook in five minutes. Oh my gosh, I'm making such a mess in here. Hmm. It's actually pretty good. <laughs> I got that cheese, cream cheese frosting. Good thing I opened it up like this because the inside is perfectly, perfectly cooked. Just a little burnt on the outside, you know. But what can you do? It's better than raw dough, I would say. Look at that. Monkey bread, a success. A little burnt around the edge, but man, this is good. This is a great configuration, guys. I can hang out, I can sit down when I want to. This is great. If I had like a bar stool, <laughs> like a tall chair, that would've been pretty good in here, but otherwise. First time having the blue Fosters. I had the green last time, so cheers. Okay, yeah, I dig it. Sure I'm supposed to add this in. I made an error with my ramen. I forgot to put the freaking packet seasoning in there. You kidding me? It's fine. Alright guys, ramen's ready. Wind is blowing. It's time to eat. Chopsticks. Cut up some ribs here. back for this bone later here. Just want to get a couple pieces so I can dip in the soup. Rio's wondering what is going on up here. I feel like I need to take my jacket off right now. It's a hot pot right here. <laughs> oh, that'd be cool though, actually. Getting like a hot pot grill. Ooh, do they make those? Like a propane version? I feel like they would. Mm-hmm. Yep, that's delicious. Here comes the wind. This is why we came inside to eat because otherwise our food would be filled with dirt and sand. You could see just the dust particles floating around out there. At least we have a little bit of a relief inside here. Usually whenever it's super windy, you wanna face the wedge towards the wind. So it, the, the wind deflects off the wedge, but I'm telling you like this wind is literally doing this isn't the wind doing that, Rio? We'll probably end up sleeping down here, huh? Oops. Oh, and also, another pro is my little portable cooler that I take for one-nighters. 
fits perfectly down here fits the dog me and carly could totally like sit right in front of each other <laughs> we got some uh raised barbecue sauce over here this is a good flavor of uh shin ramen i've never had this like chicken broth i think flavor is what this one is this one right here the chicken broth it's good though it's still got a little bit of a kick to it which is nice but not too bad like not, not too overpowering it's just a little little tiny heat definitely less heat than that red that shin ramen red one that is uh usually everyone uses i'm honestly getting hot it's like only supposed to be in like the 60s or something tonight but it's just supposed to be super windy oh my gosh top ramen pieces in the ramen <laughs> It's all good. Give us some crunch here. Let's see. You know what? I don't hate it. <laughs> it's good. All right, some rib meat that's been sitting in the broth with a chip. Yeah, that's pretty good. We want this. Ah, back up. Lay down. Down. Good girl. Easy. The window breeze feels nice though. <laughs> Alright guys, we're going to watch an older one called Fury. simple today with some instant coffee. I really like this configuration like this, um, especially because it's still pretty windy outside, so it kind of keeps me out of the elements. I can stand up. It's comfortable, like working on this type of surface. Height is perfect.
been forever since I've had cereal. And uh, it's pretty good. <laughs> this will probably keep, keep me full for about an hour though. <laughs> Should have brought like bananas to bulk it up a little bit. Good morning, y'all. Just been a really chill morning. Had some coffee, had a little bit of breakfast. And uh, we're gonna start getting out of here, getting the truck all packed up. We're gonna take Rio on a little jaunt around the park again for a little morning stroll. I love the view from this campground. If you guys are wondering, I'm at spot 51 within Boulder Beach. The wind is getting serious, so we're gonna get this walk out of the way and uh, get back on home. Let's go.